Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Luminous Links here. We have another amazing, the best Roblox update showcase ever. Because this update has, you, you guessed it, the cat sword. The cat is finally here, guys. And it's sadly not a shoulder pet, but it is really cute and it follows you. And it's not super pay to win. I mean, it's still 5000 but at least you don't have to pay, you know, like 38000 to guarantee it. Now, I'm also hosting a giveaway for the Singular Curse Blade. And all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment your Roblox username down below. You can also follow my um, Roblox account, join my Roblox group, and join my Discord server. And those three are in the description down below. Now, first here we got this new event called the Zombies and Versus Vampires. Vampires. Basically, you choose a team. I choose vampires because more people like vampires in general, so I felt like they were going to win more likely. You just get a few extra pumpkins and a sword explosion and emo. Next here we got the dual tournament, which I'm not going to show any of the swords here since they're a little hard to get, but we have the um, spectral crescent as the rarest, um, three desert pharaoh um, looking like um, swords, and we have a leaderboard to gain special swords in there. Next up, we got the best, most anticipated thing of this update, the new limiteds. With the curse blade, the curse scythe, um, the soul render scythe, and the kitty launcher. Don't worry, this is in the test server, so they're not really sold out in the real game. And here we have the best one, the kitty launcher, which um, the soul render scythe and kitty launcher can only be purchased with Robux. Next, first here we got the cursed blade, which is a pretty basic looking, um, well actually it's not that basic, it kind of looks like a, I don't know, it's really cool being the first green limited. Its emo is kind of disturbing, but overall the sword's pretty cool. Next here we got the Cursed Scythe, which is a slightly bigger version of it. I'm pretty sure there's a unique that looks like it, but this one's a little higher detailed and obviously is a more special slash effect. Next here we got the Dual Cursed Scythe, which is just, you know, two Cursed Scythes. Uh, next here we got the best one, the Kitty Launcher, which has a cute cat, um, pet cat on the side of you that, let me show you how it moves, it's really cute. And also the sword itself is also really cool and really high detailed. As you can see, I'm going to show a lot of angles of this one. It looks really cool, especially being the first rocket launcher of the game, too. Here you go, more looks at it. Okay, and last here, we have the Soul Render Scythe, which is really cool because it has a lantern in one hand, flowers in the back, and according to the description, the sword it can even rip out souls and obliterate them completely, which is kind of creepy, but this sword actually has a more festive feeling to it than creepy. Uh, first here we have the dual um, cursed blade emo. Actually, that's the, that's the singular curse scythe. Oop, wrong um, wrong emo. Let me just fix that real quick. Um, let me find it. Here we go. Actual cursed blade emo, which this one's kind of disturbing. Um, it makes it look like your soul comes out and then you're like a dangling body with like your head on the side. This one's kind of um, you know like I said disturbing. Next here we got the cursed scythe, which this one's cool. It makes like a wall that looks like in front of you that's green colored and looks kind of like a smoke next here we got the dual curse scythe which um it's slash um not it's slash effect it's emo it's pretty cool and this one's finally not disturbing i mean the ghosts around faces are kind of disturbing but the pose is cool and it makes like an aura around you that looks wispy like a creepier version of wonder wisp next here we got the soul render scythe emo which this one's really cool lantern kind of explodes looks like coronavirus is floating around it and then you sit on like a fire holding the lantern out and it looks really cool. And this one's also really, really high detailed and really bright. Next there we got the kitty launcher, which this one's emo is a throne. Well, not really a throne. It's like a modern heart chair. Sit down and the kitty runs around your chair. This one's really cool since its accessory is a pet and the pet is even involved in the emo. Now I like the paws on hearts on that one too, which is really cute since I really love cats. Next up, we got the new explosion, starting with Cursed Eye, Cursed Beam, and Kitty Rocket. Now, I couldn't find the Soul Render Scythe emo, I mean, explosion, but I will showcase it later in the video because I did find it after looking for it in the beginning here. So, I'll get to that footage later. Starting off with the Cursed Eye explosion and Cursed Blade. As you can see, this um, slash effect is very basic. It's like a small green um, force field with a little bit of a darker accent to it on the side. It makes a cool, dark, um, powerful slash effect with cool green looking eye with like um, extra effects around it. Next here we got the dual cursed blade which is basically you know just the singular cursed blade but just um, the dark effects on both sides and the force field being a little bigger looking. The transparency of this one outside is also a little bit bigger with a slightly bigger radius but overall you know it looks the same basically except on you you have two of the swords. 
And there's the auto click version of it. As you, um, the clashing showcases are using auto click just before anyone says, hey, why are you using auto click? So that's a little disclaimer there. Next here, we got the scythe, which is this much bigger radius and then a little bit of a pale green on slash at the end. Its explosion is also a little bit creepier. Um, but overall, these swords are not really that good. They're just, I guess, a little bit spooky. But that's really it. To be honest, these swords are very mid for the soul ones. But don't worry, I mean the cursed ones, but don't worry, the kitty one and the soul render are really great. Next here we got the dual curse scythe, which as you can see, this one has a dual cross at the end and a much, much bigger slash effect. This is obviously the best one of the curse set, but overall still, the curse set's really not that good. But it is one of the first, I, I think it actually is the first green one, so um, it is pretty special. Next here we got the soul render scythe, which is really cool, it has like a halo above you, and... It has a really, really, really nice sound effect, so I'm gonna be a little quiet here. Um, it has a small slash effect, very similar to the ninja katanas, but it's smaller and it like it's very like smooth and shiny. I also like how the sword moves while you attack. It looks like you're actually hitting the ball and like carving it away. Now, as you can see, I used Cursed Eye there as the explosion, but I did actually find the Soul Render explosion, and for me, it was hard to find because it was for some reason considered a unique one when during in the test server. So I'll show it now um, in the training mode. Let me just quickly auto-click the bot. Okay. And here's the new explosion, which looks really cool. Lantern dangling above the fire, and then it explodes. Next here, we got the Kitty Launcher which has a little circle that has little hearts and paws and other cute effects with uh, pink smoke and like pink effects and it makes a meowing slash effect every time you hit the ball with it which looks really really cute and it's explosion even as the cat ba wing, um, waving bye bye to the person that died so it makes it like you know and it says meow meow which is cute but can also kind of make the person feel like they died to a cute little cat which makes them feel a little bit you know weak so it's really cool on um, explosion. Now I'm going to be showing this sword um, a little one more time using um, Necromancer just because I just want to, you know, showcase the Necromancer ability since I did not um, make a showcase last week. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and maybe you can even get the kitty launcher for yourself. Now that's all for this video, so see ya! Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.